In this video, we're going to talk about how to integrate secant x dx. What is the antiderivative of secant x dx? Well, first, let's write it over 1. And what we need to do is multiply the top and the bottom of this fraction by secant x plus tangent x. You might be wondering, how do we know to do this? Why are we doing this? Well, it just works out that way. Now, let's distribute secant to secant plus tangent. So in the numerator, we're going to have secant times secant, which is secant squared, and then secant times tangent. In the bottom, we're just going to have secant x plus tangent x dx. So what we're going to do is we're going to make u equal to secant x plus tangent x. And here's why. The derivative of secant is secant tangent. And the derivative of tangent is secant squared. Now all of this is within parentheses times dx. So notice that we have du. du is secant tangent plus secant squared times dx, which is the same as what we have here. So therefore, we have the integral of du divided by secant plus tangent, which we could replace that with u. This is the same as the integral of 1 over u du, which we know it's the natural log of u plus c. And u is secant plus tangent, so the final answer is the natural log of secant x plus tangent x plus c. So this is the integral of the secant function. That's how you could find it.